Um, and without further ado, when I was shuffling the cards and with uh, Cancer, I saw two images. With you guys, I also saw two images and they're very opposite. Unlike the Cancerian reading, your images are just different. So the first thing that I saw was, uh, I see this man, he's like about 20, he's very young, like 20, um, maybe even, you know, like a teenager. Um, he's definitely over 18, but he's still very young. And he's in this, um, he's in this castle. And the castle has a little bit of a veranda and he's out on the veranda with his little telescope uh, scanning the horizon to see if people are arriving. He's not a sentry. He's not a guard. He seems like he's uh, he belongs to the royal family and he's scanning the horizon. So the, 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 um, the veranda is really high up off the ground and he's looking at the ocean. He's looking at the water and there's a cliff. And so the, the scenery is just really, really beautiful. It reminds me of some of those, um, like, it reminds me of, like, a Mediterranean castle or, like, the the climate is, it seems really warm and really nice, like, in the Mediterranean area, Western Europe, like, a castle that is in that area. So I don't know if you guys are taking trips there, if you're planning to do, like, some type of an extravagant uh, get-together there with other people, with family even, or doing a lot of sightseeing because I see, like, the uh, telescope is, you know, you're looking at things, you're scoping out your, your environment, and I feel like he's very excitedly waiting for somebody to come in, to come into the picture, to come to town, and um, things like that. So I, I feel like it's a really, really beautiful imagery. And then the second one I saw, it's a little bit strange. <clears throat> so I don't know if, so I, I see a woman. She's wearing a lab coat, like she's a scientist. So I don't know if she's an entomologist or if she's just a collector. Um, I see her with like a collection of butterflies. You know, the, the butterflies that are dried up and people put them in picture frames. So I see her um, with this book, like it's almost like a, a photo album but instead of photos she's um, taking tweezers and putting the butterfly into the book and then she puts the name and she labels it and then she puts that plastic cover sheet on top of it to keep everything in place and I keep seeing her do doing this with like a bunch of um, butterflies different butterflies different species and just um, she's doing it in a very meticulous manner I feel like it's more of a hobby rather than a work thing for her. So some of you could be collectors, you could be stamp collectors, you could be antique collectors. Um, something that you're doing or collecting, I feel like it is um, gaining in value. So if you have, you know, a bunch of items and you're just like, get them appraised because I feel like they have a lot of value. You might not have known when you purchased these items, but I feel like they have a lot of value and uh, you should get something, if, especially if you have something antique or something that you feel is older or something that you don't really know its origin, get it appraised if you can, because I feel like it can fetch a lot of money. But um, when I saw this second image, the message that ran through my head is um, somebody is taking great care to do things properly, okay? Um, and that is more of a generic message, but I feel like in alignment with this reading, what I feel though is, uh, I see many of you, um, with like large family gatherings and I keep seeing this for Leo's like big families, big family gathering, lots of people in your environment, possibly, you know, living in an environment where there are definitely many, many generations under the same roof, as well as um, having many, many friends coming by and you're kind of like playing host or hostess to all of the people that you love, okay? So people are going to be coming into your physical environment, into your house, into your dwelling, and celebrating. I'm also seeing a lot of people winning a lot of trophies, so um, getting a lot of trophies, displaying them, on the walls and then people come in and look at your collection of things like collection of trophies, collection of insects, even collection of antiques and, you know, just, um, marveling at everything that you've achieved or marveling at everything that you have accomplished 
or have attained. So I definitely see the sense of pride associated with things that you have in your home. Um, I feel like the financial situation for, you know, the next two weeks, you're coming out of financial worries, okay? Um, if there has been distance as well between you and a loved one, for whatever reason, they might have been traveling for work, you might have been traveling for work, or whatever circumstances that separates you and the other person, there is a coming back together. There is a sense of like, this person is the one for me. We know each other in an inside and out, and they are the the one that will rye or die with me. And I feel like if you've ever doubted that, you will get confirmation that, you know, this is the one, this is the person that will constantly be around. This is the person that no matter how tough things get, they will always be there for you. And they will always, um, you can always count on them. Okay. There is a lot of stubbornness between you and this person. There's a lot of, you know, not seeing eye to eye, a lot of stubbornness, a lot of just, um, um, I, I see energies that are very different, like, you know, almost that yin and yang energy. One, well, not so much yin and yang, but more like fire and water. That's what it feels like to me. And, um, or even, you know, oil and water. They don't mix well, but together, um, you know who you are. They know who they are. You know what you want. They know what you want. And so you both can have a relationship. In whatever capacity, it could be business, it could be love, it could be friendship, it could be family relationships too. Like you, you know who you are, and you both are very stubborn. You're not going to change your ways. They're not going to change their ways. But the two of you can count on each other when things matter. You know, when it comes to the big things, it's the little things that you disagree on. But when it comes to the big things, are you going to be there for me? Are you going to be there when you say you're going to be there? And um, can I count on you to get these things done? They're there. And, and if you've had, you know, any doubts in the past, this is um, the next two weeks will kind of uh, drown away those doubts so that you know exactly where you stand with this person. Um, I see somebody coming into the picture and I have here a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, King of Cups, Reverse. And then I have an air sign, an Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Um, first of all, I feel like there might be a water sign that's dealing with some current legal issues. Current legal issues. It could be in their past. I'm seeing somebody who might not have handled their responsibilities um, the way that they should, like an adult. I feel like it's somebody that, you know, have had a rough past and they made bad choices. They made bad decisions. So it could be that water sign or the air sign. Um, they, they made bad decisions so that they should have done something, you know, a, in a different way. And I feel for, for some of them, it could be, you know, not being financially responsible. And so their credit is not that great. And so now they're like, they're not able to get a house. They're not able to get a mortgage. They're not able to, um, they're not able to do a lot of things finance related. And so they might ask you, you know, can you co-sign this for me because you have good credit or you, no, I, I feel like they, they're asking you like, can you help me co-sign this because my credit is shot? That's, that's what I'm hearing. And then I feel like they're asking you for advice and especially uh, love advice. They're asking you for love advice. Like, I really screwed up with this person. What is the best way for me to get back to in their good graces? What do you recommend? What do you suggest? So I see that element about somebody, you know, behaving in a way that was not honorable. And they're trying to make amends. And so you are kind of like the the shoulder for them to to lean on or, you know, the, the ear for them to vent to or the person who gives them counsel and advice so that they can fix something that they messed up on in the past. Um, I do see legal issues as well, possibly surrounding this person. And um, I also feel like being delinquent on a few payments, like either credit card payments, um, electricity bills, where or even like, you know, um, 
mortgage or rent and then they're they find themselves in a really tough spot and I don't feel like they need money from you I, I just feel like they need some type of a assistance counsel to get their to sort things out in their lives okay um so th that's what I'm getting I also feel like there is an air sign so that uh, Aquarius Gemini and Libra and this is somebody that you have known for a very long time. So that could be their sun, moon, or rising. And when you might have known them, you know, when you both were kids, like you might have known them for a very long time. Um, you see the best in this person. You see the very, very, very best. There is definitely a sense of mutual loyalty between the two of you. And I almost see like you are viewing them through the lens of, you know, um, through some type of a biased lens is what I'm sensing. You might have already, you, you might have always, you know, looked at this person, not as the person that they are right now, but more as the person, the child or the, the person that you grew up with or the person that you've known since childhood or the person that you have a long history with. And you might disregard or you might you know gloss over the fact that they are an adult now they need to be a little bit more accountable for their actions they need to be a little bit more truthful a little bit more direct and I feel like you make a lot of allowances for this person because you see the best in them you see them as the person that they were rather than the person that they are now and so your views, your opinions might be a little bit skewed. I see you coming to this person's defense whenever family members or um, friends or, you know, whoever is talking badly about this person. You, you come to their defense. But I feel like for the next two weeks, you might start to, you know, reassess this relationship. You might start to reassess whether or not what everyone said is true because I feel like you're fixing that idea of them as you know the person that they were rather than seeing the reality of the situation and, and I feel like the reality is there are things that they have not been truthful about with you and you are aware of that too and are you willing to let that continue or you know are you willing to sweep that under the rug just to preserve the relationship or will you feel a little bit undermined that they are lying to you or being deceitful and kind of um, just not respectful of the relationship in general? Because ultimately, you know, when somebody deceives us, they must feel like we are easy to deceive. And, and it's, it's hard for us to, to take our ego out of it. And a lot of the times we feel like, you know, oh, you're lying to me. You must think I'm stupid. You know, you're, you're trying to undermine my intelligence. That's what it feels like to me. And so with this person, I feel like you have to look at them as the person that they are right now. Never mind who they were in the past, because I feel like there might be some deceptive behavior coming into the picture that you kind of need to, to face head on, Okay. I do sense for many of you, this is family member. I see more like a, a brother, a male cousin. Um, I also feel like coworkers as well. Um, I also feel like, you know, that, that image popped up again with the butterflies and the names. So you're, you're like giving, the, so each of those butterflies have like a scientific name and I see you putting them in the scrapbook or in the photo album and on top of it, you're labeling the names. So I feel like labels mean a lot. Okay. Um, giving somebody the right label or giving somebody the right title. I feel like that, that, um, concept is coming up very strongly for this week or the next two weeks. And so let's call people out for who they are and let's see people for who they are and let's be honest about, you know, who people are. Um, I'm also seeing for many of you lots of um, hosting, okay? So playing host, um, getting out your fine china, um, doing like um, arranging the, the, the seating. 
So you might, you know, write down the names of whoever is coming to dinner or coming to an occasion or coming to a party and you're meticulous about who they're sitting next to. So I feel like there's an element almost of um, arranging, hosting a dinner and arranging seating, like having seating arrangements. Um, I also see like really expensive cutlery, utensils, plates, um, candle holder so i feel like it's a it's a very extravagant banquet for those of you who are in the catering or the hospitality industry um you're going to be slammed with a lot of gigs a lot of income generating opportunities okay so catering and event planners or even people in the hospitality industry is going to be very very busy but i feel like you're handling things with grace and um I'm I'm feeling as well, um, I see a bunch of little ones, so I don't know if they're children or like helpers or people that you are hiring to help you seasonally. So there's that element as well, overseeing the helpers, but they're they're really good about, you know, um being diligent. They're good, they're they're not slackers, they take care of responsibilities, they know what they're doing. So you don't have to worry about them, you don't have to look over your shoulders. They know what they're doing and they're getting things done in the manner that you instructed. So I definitely see you overseeing people and get, needing to get a lot done, but you you are not the one physically having to do it. They are the ones that are setting things up for you or at least doing all the heavy lifting and you're just kind of directing where they need to go and what needs to be situated where. Um, I'm also seeing as well... there's this element here about, you know, people don't change there. There's that element. So I know that it, it's, it goes in, in conflict with what I, it goes against what I told you earlier, but there's an element here about people don't change, meaning the same types of behavior that we see before is, is resurfacing. So it's not that, you know, we didn't see it before. It's just sometimes we have a little bit of um, tunnel vision, and then we choose to see only what we want to see. It's so sort of like looking through those binoculars and the binoculars, it, it tunes out everything except every uh, except the very thing that is in its line of vision. Okay, so needing to broaden our view and needing to look at a situation, not for what we want it to be but ex or expected it to be, but broaden the scope of of our viewpoint so that we can see a whole situation so that's what i'm feeling here it's not that you know um it's not so much that people don't change or people do change but it is it's just that everyone comes with their good and their bad traits and you have to kind of weigh out you know do their bad traits outweigh the good and is it you know is it important for me to point it out or is it important for me to reassess the relationship? But I feel it's almost like we have to kind of learn to look at the, the person in their totality and we have to not look at them or a situation through this lens where we are focusing on one thing, only the good things or only the bad things, okay? Um, I do see that heavy water sign energy water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, coming into the picture. And I feel like this is somebody that you're going to be interacting with heavily. And um, I almost feel this element about them uh, dealing with some type of a self-esteem issue or dealing with some legal stuff or dealing with some things that they're trying to correct, they're trying to fix, and they might be coming in for assistance. I see you uh, wanting to help this person. I see like you really care about this person. I see you wanting to help this person. And I see like you wanting to, you know, uh, take away their pain or take away their, their sadness or, you know, do things to uplift them. Okay. So that's all that I have for you here, Leos. I hope the reading is helpful. I do wish you all the best.